talking with uh, Melanie and Christoph about a, an edition and uh, Christoph was totally uh, enthusiastic about the idea that he had access to a letterpress and the only thing about the letterpress that interested me was misregistration and you can't really get misregistration by chance by lithography and all for once the plates are made they're made and we started to work on this project and I came up with the with the uh, book that I wanted to do, which is Tit as Tad. And with that in mind, we began to set it up and set it up, and here we are. We have literally uh, an edition. The process is essentially, or was, it's now finished, uh, was to design a set of plates that when each plate was made and it was registered. There was no real way that it would be perfect. And in that, you got this kind of, each page is completely different. Each time the press hits the paper, it's a different impression. And then we worked on the inks and we worked on the paper. And uh, in fact, it was extremely complicated. And in the, in the end, it's extremely simple. Tit as tat, it's a work of mine where there's a tit for tat expression, which is all concerning tapping and hitting. And there are different ways of hitting. When you have one way and another way, in the end, one functions as another. And with a misregistration, -reg one functions as another. So it's putting the concept of a sculpture into the process of making a book. So it's putting your your work where your mouth is, I guess, where you basically build a sculpture that has to do with the fact that tip, tip, in fact, can function as each other. They are not the same thing, though. And turning that into a book. It, it really, it, it, to speak about something that is an object already is superfluous. It, it becomes the gilding a lily, and a lily is not bad by itself.